Hi there folks, I'm in the garden this evening and I'm paying the Himalayan balsam plant some attention now. I've left it in a bit longer than I first intended simply because I've decided to, believe it or not, count the pods that it produces and I can figure out then how many seeds that one plant is capable of producing. It'll be a, it'll be a low estimate anyway because this is a side stem coming off from the main tree balsam if you like and you can see it's got three areas where leaves are growing out from its node and they would actually form rosettes baby flowers like that okay and then those rosettes turn into these pink flowers policemen's helmets they call them as well and also then they produce these pods now, this is nowhere near ripe, so I can actually touch this. It's not going to explode. If I leave this another couple of weeks, if I touch this, it would explode. And it sends 8 to 12 maybe, sometimes even a bit more than 12 seeds from the plant, you know, un under, you know, propulsion. And, you know, it can go a good 7 foot or so. And then, you, you know, you, you then add water to that and these seeds go a long way. And that's how they can just take over catchments when they get established. This is just one plant, one seed that I brought in accidentally to the garden through some manure. Um, and I not noticed the baby come up. I thought, right, I'll watch that. I had four others that I that I pulled out and killed. But um, so yeah, I've decided to come up here now, pay some attention to this, start cutting some of these off, and then over the next few days, and I'm just going to go through and count the pods. Um, so yeah. Let's do some. This is a good example actually. So I see the flowers coming out from these other nodes as well. And then there's going to be one, two, Three, four, five, six. So it'll be six flowers in total there. So that's six pods. But yeah, it's just an immense plant. And it's, uh, it's quite invasive. It's what I do, do for work. I help control this. But because of lockdown, I thought, well, we'll keep it in the garden. I can kind of watch it grow and do some videos. But I've hated having it here, it's been absolutely horrible. So it's time to go now, it's getting big and I can't stand the smell. It's a very strong, heady smell and to me it's a smell that you know, signals hard work. <laughs> um, but it'd be interesting, I'm really interested to see how many seed pods are on this plant. So the balsam has been growing nuts, as has everything else. And I've just kind of, <laughs> just not given up, just kind of let it go now. Um, had our first harvest of runner beans yesterday and some carrots today harvested the last of the chicken coop potatoes I don't know if I've put that up yet and yeah so everything just drying out in the tunnel all the garlic and onions I can't turn you around um, but yeah stay on track I had to show you this. I've had 201 seeds, sorry, pods, seed pods, so 201 of these off this one stem already. You know, and there's another probably 30, 40 there. It's just such a prolific producer of seed. Yeah.
the WD-40 on these, I think. Nuts. Like, there seems to be a lot of pests and diseases around. <laughs> Everything in the tunnel is just either blight or rot that I had outside. Tomatoes are going to rodents, not rats, so I think it's mice. Um, yeah, just and, and a bit, little bit of blossom end rot, but that, that seems to have gone now. But I, I had 30 tomatoes, tomato plants. I've got about six left. I've moved one into the house. Beef tomato, we did have a lovely big beef tomato. Uh, but yeah, it just seems like one of those years really, isn't it? Seen a lot of other channels maybe having a bit of difficulty, but then others aren't, so it is variable, isn't it? A cattle are in next door today, so you can hear them. I'll stop there and uh, do the rest of the next few days. I'll, I'll do an update of the balsam and show you the, the, the stem. Someone asked, I think it was Joyce, asked to see the stem. Absolutely, um, it's really big. Cool. It's a nice evening for it. Just planted some lettuce. Oh, I've got to take you off this. To show you then. I suppose it as it's a gardening channel. It's just gardening. <laughs> Who knows? Oh gosh. Right. What can't I don't know how there we go. Oh ho, ho. cool. Some French beans coming on here. And then some celeriac that I need to keep on top of the weeds. And this is flowering nice now. That agache. Is that a buff tailed? Should know. Have to get a book out. Coriander seeds. I've sown a lot of my own coriander seed. Dried some out in the tunnel. And I, I sown it in the ground. It's germinated fine. Sown it into module trays. And it hasn't germinated. Kale's going down a tree. I just planted this lettuce. That needs a water. A bit of coriander popping up there and some leeks in a container. I think they're musselbrough. Cabbage and beans have just kind of gone, they're just letting it go nuts now, really. Still a, still a mess up here, still a building site. Some borage, a bit later than the stuff in the tunnel. And what is under the uh, balsam is a uh, horseradish. Now we inherited this, but I quite like it. I do like the horseradish from here. We get it every kind of autumn and it's nice. It's not too hot, but I, I like, I like heat. Bit of a slow bed up there. It's the first time I've grown anything up there and it's just really slow, it doesn't get a lot of light. Thinking about putting the uh, water tank here. Yes, yeah, so we've done some garden changes, thanks for the help over the weekend. If any of you are watching, you know who you are. Fools. Just kind of concentrating on the stuff I like growing now, just lettuce and coriander and bits and pieces. Ah, oh, the flowers have done quite well. I think these are Rebecca. I've grown these from seed. I'm really chuffed with these. I've lost the bed that's behind here. I was gonna... It's one of those things that, because these things are grew, I couldn't get to it, and I've just let it go. But, uh, yeah, that's uh, on the list, boys. It's on the list. Oh, I've just stung all my legs. 
that's not much going on in here. I'm losing beetroot to mice. And I don't know, I, I trap in the tunnel, but I don't like trap them, trapping out here. If they want it, they can have it. I'm really not fussed. The postman grows good beetroot. I'll have some of his. <laughs> yeah, so I need to do a bit, of, bit, of, bit of housekeeping on some of these beds, I think. Strawberries are finished now, really. Celery is going well. Do like celery. Some of my own coriander seed. Some more. Ah, I need to harvest them, but I can't get to them at the moment. Some leeks, mussel bread leeks planted here. And some lettuce coming to an end now. I think we'll have all this up. It's gone quite, quite tough and bitter. And so what am I going to put here? I'm going to put more leeks here. Need to tie that up at some point. But yeah, just saving as much seed as I can. Probably put that in the tunnel soon. Yeah. I've noticed mice eat these too. You find little piles of them. A few wild, wild flowers around. I'll tell you what, marrow, I, I didn't realise how, how much it spreads. I had that in a container. I uh, grew it from seed. And we moved when we moved house. I brought the bucket with me, mayonnaise container. Planted it, and it's gone nuts. Um, but it sends out runners, and then obviously, if you don't put it all out, then they'll regenerate. I don't mind keep putting them up. I like the flowers. I think it's a pretty white. Usually, flower in September, I thought. Maybe I got the name wrong. Um, yeah, that's about it. I don't know.